Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ladies and squirrels, you're about to be part of a win-win situation. And not only are you going to be part of a win-win situation, but I'm going to tell you today about win-win situations. We're going to dive deep on them, all right? First, we're going to start off on what they are. It's a nice segue into why you want to create them in your life. And after that, we're going to get into how to create them. There's a couple tricks I'm going to give you. Now, beyond that, win-win situations and understanding them, being able to foster them with those who you choose will allow you to network and build relationships, make friends with those that you otherwise couldn't, bat out of your league, how to make friends with people that are wealthier than you, more connected than you, more powerful than you. This is how you do it. It all comes down to this underlying collaboration mindset. So lock in, be part of this win-win with me. You're going to get a lot of this video. And if you implement what I'm going to talk about, then pretty much anything is possible. So. Lock in, enjoy what you're about to see. I love you, let's win together. Guys, my name is Aaron, can I get a fuck you out of here? A win-win situation basically, is an exchange of value between two or more parties. Now that could be you and another person or you and another entity. Now the scope of this video is mainly going to be about you and another person, me and another person or multiple people, but it also goes beyond that. It goes beyond that into the money that you spend with an organization, getting value and giving value to them and whatnot. And I'll talk about that in a little bit, but really we're going to hone down on you and another person, the value that you can exchange with another person. Now it's not just an exchange exchange of value, but each person in each party thinks that they're winning, thinks that they're getting a great end of the deal, in the sense that one person is not winning at the other person's expense. One person isn't winning and the other is losing. I'm going to talk about this later a lot, but I'll get into a little bit right now. For my entire life, up until very, 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 very recently, maybe in the past couple of years, I've thought that in order for me to win or somebody else to win, they had to lose or I had to lose. In order to win, somebody else had to lose, and that is completely not the case. That only really happens in sports and other zero-sum environments. But in the world that we live in, we don't really live in a zero-sum environment, especially with the people around us. We live in a collaborative mindset where the whole tide can rise with abundance. So that's what a win-win situation is, so they're on the same bandwidth. Why you want to foster one? There's one main reason, and that is because it is sustainable. They build upon themselves, okay? Win-win situations foster more win-win situations. More exchanges happen after the first one. They take on the laws of momentum. They keep going, they keep growing, they keep building, okay? Also, it feels fucking amazing to help somebody else out while you're getting help. So, on one hand, you could be winning, you'd be like, ha ha ha, I'm winning, or you're conquering, or whatever. But imagine if the people that you're conquering, like, if you're invading Rome, okay? Just think of it this way. If you're invading Rome and you think that Rome should abide by your law, okay, imagine it, not that they're losing, but that they're gaining. And at the same time, they're telling you, thank you for taking us over. Thank you for bringing us into your kingdom. Thank you for not making us Rome anymore. Thank you, Attila the Hun. We're going to do what you're told. We love you and we want to be part of your mission. Okay? Now, that's an exaggerated example, okay? But what I'm talking about right now, as far as you and another person, if the other person is also winning when you're winning, that's fucking amazing and guess what will those Romans help you conquer more places that are not under control right now hell yes it builds upon itself you become more powerful and the exchange becomes more powerful as it stacks as it stacks on top of each other as it stacks on top of itself instead of you winning and the other person losing you both win and when one person wins and one person loses that only happens once because the other person feels like they got the shitty end of the stick do they want to do business with you do they want to contract with you do they want to exchange with you again how fucking no the third section of this video is how to create and how to foster win-win situations with the person of your choosing targeting them down and moving forward with them so that they're winning and you're winning and you keep winning together Okay, the first step in doing that, in fostering a win-win situation, is basically understanding what your win is. And the way to do that is to define and realize your life's purpose. To understand what the fuck you're doing here on planet Earth. Here's why. 
Understanding your purpose will allow you to differentiate between what is meaningful and what is not meaningful. Then you think about and you understand what value you have to give to the world. Now there's a couple things that you don't realize and there's a couple ways that you are of value to others that you probably don't realize right now. And I didn't realize this about myself for 20 years, okay? The greatest value that you have is not your money. It's the emotions that you can give another person. In other words, it's the way that you can make them feel. If I asked you, how do you network with somebody that's a billionaire and is extremely well connected? What would make them want to hang out with you? How do you make friends and network with people who are much richer and much more powerful than you are? Make them laugh. Three words, make them laugh. Make them feel good. How do you become friends with me? You buy me, no I'm kidding. How do you make friends with me? Make me laugh, give me good emotions. Be an open ear, okay? Give me some attention, be a listening ear. It's massive therapeutic for me to talk, okay? The camera's one of those things that I do it to, all right? Another person can be that thing. I made a video about listening and the therapeutic benefits of listening, the value that you have to another person when you give them your concise and definite attention. It's amazing what you can do without money and without connections as far as being of value to another person. Understand that you have so much potential, you have so much power with your emotions, with your listening ear, with your eyes, giving them good eye contact, and if you can joke, if you can laugh, you can raise the vibe, if you just have fun, it is fucking priceless. I swear to God, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna elaborate on upon, upon a couple examples in just a second, okay? Your emotions, your attention, laughing, okay? Those three things, more powerful than money and well, and good connections combined combined. I'll just give you a little example. When I was in Costa Rica, I met this woman named Selma and I actually made a video at her house. Not only was it a house, but it was a fucking mansion. And she let me stay there even when she wasn't there just to hang out. Why? Did I pay her? No. Was I well connected? No. Was I better connected than her? No. She's an Instagram influencer. She's a business owner. She has better network, she has more money than me, she's way more powerful than I am. Why would she engage with me? And why would she foster a win-win situation with me or any sort of situation at all? Because I made her laugh, because we had a good time, and because the vibe felt nice. So from Selma's perspective, all of a sudden this weird dude with long hair and weird earrings comes oh, into her Evan and she saves her life. was never weird. It was on point the entire time. I have an entire video on that where you can see what it was like in that moment between Selma and I and I actually had her on the damn channel. Understand your value. Understand what you have to offer. Emotions, attention, good look, well, you could say good looks, good looks, and good times, okay, good vibes. Big, big, big four that not a lot of people realize. I didn't really realize that. Super, super powerful. You could also leverage your money. You could also leverage your network and open doors for them in those ways. Introduce them to other people, okay? That's totally fine. You could give them shelter, kind of like what Selma did to me. You could give them food and water and whatever it is, any sort of resources that you have, but it's massively overlooked what you can give to another person as far as energy, laughing, good times, good vibes, okay? Super super powerful. Do not underestimate that. And those are trainable, and I'm gonna teach you that, and I have been teaching you that on this channel, all right? Enough of that. Third, understand what a win is to them, okay? So we have understanding your life's purpose and understanding, defining a win for you, okay? Second, assessing what value you have to other people, what you can offer, okay? One thing that I forgot to mention in that one is your skills, okay, your expertise, whether it be hard, soft skills, any sort of skill. Third is understanding what their win is, okay? See what their win is, and that, this part is really the art, okay? So you could ask a person, hey, what is your win? And that's an overt communication, right? You ask them literally, hey, what is your win? And they could tell you, but they're totally not gonna tell you. All right, do not fall into this pit. Do not ask somebody, hey, what is your win? If somebody came up to me and asked me, and I know that they want to network with me, hey, what is your win, Evan? 
yeah, on one hand, like I know that they watched this video and they're just implementing what I taught them and told them to do. But on the other hand, I'm like, oh, dude, what is your agenda? Why are you being so creepy? That's fucking weird if you ask me, hey, what's your win? It's not really like a conversational question. Hey, where are you from? What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. That's kind of normal. Hey, what is your win? It's like, ah, oh, what do you want from me? You know, it's a agenda scene. It's kind of creepy. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna shut down if you tell me that, if you ask me that. But the real art of this is figuring out what my win is through my overt and covert communication, not totally directly like saying, my win is blank, 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 blank. My win is I need to get in shape, okay? If you get me in shape, then I'm gonna hang out with you and engage with you, okay? And I will give you value in return. People really don't say that. I'm never gonna tell you that, okay? But if I start talking about like, um, I really need help booking public speaking gigs, because I do. This is something I'm working on. I really want connections, I want open doors in that area, and I really don't have any expertise right now. If you can consult me, if you can help me, if I could push through your network, that'd be amazing. So they might be like, blah, 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 this is what I'm about, these are my goals, they're gonna tell you covertly, really, about what they need help with, and then you fill in that gap. You become that person, you offer something of value. So, I'll give you a really good example, concrete example. I was in Costa Rica, and I met this dude named Dave, okay? Dave was telling me about how he was a personal trainer, he had been away from the game for a while, and he wanted to reamp and kind of create a new business in Costa Rica. He was, he was originally from Chicago, he had a thriving personal training business there, and then he wanted to revamp everything and get going with business in Costa Rica because he wanted to stay there full time. So I'm thinking, oh shit, like I know how to build websites, I do all this video work, I'm really good with social media and media in general, okay? If you have a YouTube, you're gonna crush it, bro. What do you wanna do? Blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh yeah, I totally need help with that. Bam, 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 bam. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. Guess what happens? Eventually, I live at his place for free, which was a very, very luxurious condominium overlooking the water. I have plenty of video of that. In exchange for taking video of him on top of mountains, doing some workouts on the beach, and learning from him, getting trained. So not only is he training me, but we're getting footage of it, and I get to stay at his place for free, okay? Is that a win for me? Yes, it allows me to build out my video making repertoire. It allows me to build out my body. It saves some cash in my wallet and it allows me to explore nature in a new way, explore a new part of Costa Rica. Is that meaningful to me? Yeah, it is. And it allows me to get better meditation because now I have a private room instead of staying at a hostel, okay? Not gonna get too elaborate on this, okay? You get the idea, it was a win for me, and it was a win for him. What he found meaningful in that moment, from what I understood, is he wants to get started on a business in Costa Rica, helping people work out and getting paid for it, okay? And I totally, totally fucking helped him with that. Okay, it was a win-win situation for the both of us. For the both of us. Just like it is right now. Now, right now, you don't think that I'm winning right now. You may not think of it because I'm taking my time. I'm giving you my energy. I'm sacrificing. What's the opportunity cost of me making this video right now? I could be doing a lot of other things. I could be in Costa Rica making videos with Dave. I could be at someone's place chilling by the infinity pool on the beach getting vitamin D on the D. What else could I be doing right now, okay? You may not think that I'm doing this out of the sheer love and joy of it, but really, I am. I'm winning right now, guys. I am literally winning right now. Why? Okay, let's talk about it in a couple ways because I'm engaging with you right now. I'm literally winning right now. I'm winning for a number of reasons. One. Having to share with the camera in high fidelity further strengthens my ability to speak to other people, to communicate, okay? And simultaneously, it forces me to align what the hell I wanna say in a clear and succinct, linear fashion, okay? And be able to do that outside of just the camera. Another thing is that I wanna benefit you in the ways that I've benefited myself, and I wanna give back. So literally, I'm winning by giving right now. I and winning by giving. Now whether you think that this is a win or not is up to you, but the reason that I know it's a win right now is because you would not be watching this if it wasn't a win for you. The fact that you're watching this right now, and right now, and right now, and you've watched up until this point, I know that it's a win for you. And therefore, anybody that I'm talking to on the other side of this camera, 
we are both winning together in this joy of life. As cliche and gay as it sounds, we are literally winning, each one of us, the whole tide, the whole sea is collaborating. Both of our boats are rising at the same time. I'm not winning because you're losing and you're not winning because I'm losing. We're both winning and yes, it's fucking possible, okay? Now, going forward on your win-win situations with those that you find meaningful, make sure every single engagement you have in your life is a win and is furthering your purpose on this earth, okay? From there, you have the other person. And make sure that the other person is also winning. Take care of yourself first, but then you can literally overtly ask, hey, are you still winning? Is this still a win for you? My uncle and I, every month we have a call. He actually hit me up about an hour before I was sort of filming this video, and he texted me, hey, you good to talk today? Sorry, Uncle Mike, can't for a couple hours. Gotta take care of myself first, then we can do what we're gonna do. On those calls every month, he still asks me, and I ask him, we make sure it's still a win for each other. He gives massive value as far as expertise, knowledge, insights, and listening to me, and I reciprocate much of the same, okay? I teach him a bunch of stuff, I share with him, we have good emotions, good vibes. It's a win-win value, okay? Nobody's losing, the whole tide is rising between us. But we make sure and we take the time to foster win-win for not only me, but for him. He takes the time to foster a win for him and then for me, okay? And we make sure that it's a win-win situation. It's not weird to ask the other person, hey, is this still a win for you? Once you've been going down the path together, for a little bit. And just on a little side note, my Uncle Mike was one of the people that really, really ingrained the seeds of rice that have bloomed into the understanding that I have now of win-win situations. He really kind of was the tip of the iceberg for me. He planted those seeds, which have evolved, but he's the one who really introduced win-win situations into my life. There have been a couple books and life itself, experience, which is allowed to blossom. But Uncle Mike, thank you so much for the win-win situations that we've had and for really implementing that into my brain. Not only are win-win situations building upon each other, as time goes, you can veer the direction from which each one of you derives value, okay? That direction is gonna change and you can adjust, okay? It's okay to adjust. I can go to you and we can exchange, you know, let's just say Dave and I exchange condo, workout, that's what I get, he gets a bunch of filming, social media work, website, blah, 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 our goals change. We can still offer different things at different times. They can evolve. And one big way to do that is communicating, asking them what their goals are and understanding that and not being afraid to change, okay? That's the end of it right now. What did we go over? We went over what the hell a win-win situation is for the sake of this video and a greater understanding of life. In this video, we went over why you wanna have it with other people. Now, I'm probably gonna make videos about collaboration and how you engage, how I engage, how we engage together with inanimate objects. Uh, inanimate, well, you could say animate entities such as companies, organizations, uh, affiliates, whatever it might be, associates, okay? And third, we went over how to foster win-win situations. Now, I don't know if I did it justice in this video. I think I pretty much nailed it. In reality, do I really know? No. It's an art. It's gonna take time. Like my Uncle Mike instilled upon me and then it evolved, I wanna instill it upon you and it's going to evolve. Your understanding of win-wins is going to evolve massively and that's going to happen over time it's going to happen through implementation and it's going to happen through life experience okay so don't expect your life to miraculously bloom into a beautiful garden just by watching this video i mean it'd be amazing if that would happen but i can't expect that and neither can you be willing to put in the time not only to watch this video and to share it with others but to foster win-win situations and fail, okay? It's totally worth it. You can stay at mansions in Costa Rica. You can network with billionaires at the club. You can foster win-win situations and make friends, network with those around you who are much more powerful, much richer and more wealthy than you are, or you will ever be in your entire fucking life. And this might be the greatest part of this video. The greatest part of win-win situations is that it furthers your purpose on this earth to such a degree that you couldn't otherwise do by yourself, okay? And your ability to create win-win situations with those around you that derive value from you engaging with them and vice versa is like an army 
working on one single mission. Okay, that army's mission is different than your mission, but it's like an army working on a mission. It's fucking powerful. It builds upon itself. The more people you invade, the more people that want to help you, okay? Have an army, build an army, implement what the fuck I'm talking about, and leave an amazing life. What are you gonna leave behind, and what sort of inertia, momentum, are you gonna leave on this planet when you leave? How are you gonna inspire others to carry out your mission when you're not here? Big questions, huge questions, huge for another time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Lock in for the next one. I love you. Take care. Peace out.